All right, what's up, everybody on YouTube? This is Gore Secret to another video, and this is going to be the answers vid. And um, I'm going to try to go through these answers kind of quick. I just did this video before, and it's kind of long, so I want to kind of limit my time. So let's get into it. This question is coming from Juke and Juice for Seven X. Um, his questions are, where do I buy my shoes, or well, where do I work to buy my shoes, and do I like it? I work at a local YMCA, and um, when the kids are good, I like it, and when the kids are bad, it can be kind of a task, but you know, it's my job, and you know, kids come first, make sure they have fun, make sure they're being safe, so I make sure I do my job, and I get paid for it, so that's how I do it. Um, and he's also asking, how the heck do you convince your parents to let you buy some new shoes? Mark's telling me to hold off even though I had the money. Now, um, what I'm going to say to that is, you know, the parents, they're just trying to give you guidance, you know. You don't want to spend all your money and be broke and be broke for, you know, the rest of a couple days. Just like if I get paid and I know these LeBron, like the taxi LeBron elites, I had the money to get those, but I knew if I bought those, I'd be done. I mean, it's like 262 with tax around here. And 250 that's like a whole paycheck almost like that's definitely more than half a paycheck almost all of it for me so yeah um, just prioritize save and get what you want a lot of people always ask me the same questions like how do I get the money to get these kicks prioritize what you want make sure you save and you know use it for what you want so say like some like horns are coming out and the cans are coming out too uh, a week later do I want the summer lakes or do I want the, uh, I'm pretty sure I just said the cannon. Um, I guess I'm, I'm gonna say I want the summer lakes. So instead of me trying to break my back trying to get both pairs, just buy one pair and save the money up for a different pair of kicks. Uh, next thing is going to M I Y I A U Q or M I U A K U R. I don't know how exactly to say, it, guys. But it's saying, how the heck do you afford all these kicks? Whatever you do, I need to do also. I just told you guys I work and I prioritize on what I want to buy. Next question is coming from Base PA. What is your favorite shoe? Not necessarily one you own. Um, right now, it's really hard to say, but um, my favorite shoe that I do not own uh, probably would be the Easy Two and the Pure Platinum. Now, the Pure Plat, like a lot of people say, in the Solar Red, you know, the Blink or whatever you want to call it, but the Pure Platinum guys with the gold tips, all gray, like that. All I thought was like royalty. Royalty when I saw that shoe it was just like gray, nice material with the, the snake skin on the sides. Like you guys can call me whatever you want, but I've been like you guys know I've liked the Easy Two since I've seen them. I mean, view way back in like November last year or October, or whatever. And I've always loved those shoes, so that's probably one of my favorite shoes that I do not own. My favorite shoes that I do own right now. Well, I'll get to that. Uh, the next question is from Hippie Tuber. He's his first question is for your favorite retros. And uh, right now, I have something that has overcome the Bordeaux Sevens, which is the Aqua Eights. The Aqua Eights that has definitely surpassed my uh, Bordeaux. It was a close thing, but I just love the Aqua Eights, and um, yeah. So Aqua Eights are over Bordeaux Sevens right now. His favorite retros were the Retro Fours. Um, where are my favorite cross trainers? He said that his favorite cross trainers are Griffies and Diamond Trip Twos. Mine are going to be definitely Griffey 1s. You guys know I like the design of that shoe. And um, I just like the colorways that came in. And right now, I'm trying to get a couple more colorways of that shoe. Um, so I have, uh, you know, a, a nice couple of uh, kicks from that same uh, the same model. Um, next question is going from Dark Store. Dark Store? Dark Star. Blue. Um, it's saying, when it comes to buying shoes online from sellers, can you explain your process? Like, how is it done? And any problems you've had, I'm trying to get into buying and selling. And also, have you ever done a midnight release like a foot action East Bay Nike store? Now, I'm going to uh, tackle the Nike store type releases online. Um, basically, for me, they crash. But the basic process is you wait for the Twitter. If you're on Twitter, you wait for them to put out a link. You click the link, you go to the site, you hope your size is still there, you add your size to the cart, um, and you try to check out as fast as possible. Um, for me, I camp out. Camp out is first, and the online camp out type thing or the online shopping is a uh, safety net pretty much. So I camp, have my phone with me charged, and I'm online trying to get the shoes at that same time, which never works out for me, as you can kind of, as you know. Um, and also, he says, what, what, how do I buy and sell online? Basically, if you're buying and selling online, always use PayPal. Always use PayPal, and never gift your payments. Um, I, if you go on paypal.com you can pretty much see it but um 
is basically you can send money over email and if you have your bank account set up and you can you know connect your bank account to that you can get paid right from paypal i have a paypal account that's how i buy and sell things online um using paypal is the easiest easiest possible way just never get your payments always pay as goods paypal will take care of you as long as you follow their guidelines and you know just don't gift it all right um, and for, uh, have I any, had any bad interactions with PayPal? Yes, I have had two recent ones. Um, I was trying to get the Chrome 8s and the Hair 7s. I got a guy, I was sole collector for both. Um, he wanted, I got him down to 135 for the Hair 7s and another guy got him down to 140 for the Chrome 8s. Um, and they were both in great condition. What ended up happening with the Hair 7s is I send the guy the money, the next day he reinforms my money and never contacts me back. So I have that money back, that 135 comes back to me. I go and sell collector again. I see the Chrome 8s. I'm like, wow, this, I'm, I mean, I really love the 8s. As you guys know, I need the Chromes and the playoffs, and that's all I really want. Um, so I see that, and I go, I talk to the guy, I text him, I send him his money. Um, and after I send him the money, there's no contact information, no contact back to me. And um, he's, they are marked as shipped, and I have still not gotten them. That was a couple weeks ago. I've already opened the claim on PayPal, and I'll probably get my money back by the 21st of this month. So, guys, PayPal will take care of you. Never gift. Always pay as goods. Um, phone is ringing, but whatever. Uh, next question comes from 514 ODEM or Odom. Uh, question answer. He's asking me how old am I and what do I do for a job. I told you guys what I do for a job. And I don't know if it's going to age or whatever. I'm pretty sure I already said somebody, but I'm legal. So there you go. Um, just wanted to hear your opinion of replicas and fakes. What is your opinion on them? Um, basically, you do what you do. I don't buy fakes personally. I have bought fakes in the past. The quality is not the par. Um, the quality just isn't up to par with a real authentic shoe. And people that buy fakes, there are some you know good fakes. There's a good fake, all right? Um, the, the fakes are not equal to the authentic, and that's all I'm gonna say on that. Not hate on anybody that does fakes. People just buy fakes. Some people just don't care. But for me, um, I don't buy fakes, you know, because I can spot the difference between a fake and all things. Um, so yeah, for me, I don't buy fakes. I don't support them. But if you do, you do you. You know what I'm saying? No hate. It's all love from this channel. All right. Uh, the next question is, where do you get your songs from? Like, where do I find them? Pretty much, if you like an artist. Like me, I like Charles Gambino and Kendrick Lamar and all those guys. You Google them, and I mean, not Google them, but you YouTube them, and you'll find you can find songs like some songs you never heard of, and you just go through clicking through different songs, and you can find different songs. And uh, I think it's newjams.com. Um, I think that's it, and you can find new music. Um, a lot of times I try to find uncopyrighted stuff from my you know videos, so I got to stick to like mixtapes and different things. I, I always can't have like album type songs. If I could, it would be a lot easier to get music in here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of running on low on music at this point. So yeah, that's what I do. Um, I also wanted to shout out Easy23. He also gave me a week tip. Oh, well, a tip for my week 13. He, he knew that I said that the uh, air bubble was foggy. He said if I use a hair dryer or something to blow on it, it'll heat it up and it takes away a lot of the, um, the fog. Now, in the last question, this one's come from JD Knickknack. Do you get your shoes online or do you wait in line? Um, as I already said before, I wait in line rather than go online. Um, seven Hub Above a Seven. He's saying, Nice custom. What is your favorite sneaker that you do not own? Um, his custom reference is actually talking about my Cincinnati Red snapback. And, um, and I already said what my favorite sneaker is that I own. It's Nike Air Easy 2, Pure Platinum. And um, I also want to shout out Big C Dub 34 for always on my channel, always uh, giving me, um, you know, not well, giving me support. And uh, I think it's also G Breezy 3 or G Breezy 34. I got to shout him out every video I make. He's on an Irish Kid 167. I think also every video I make always on this, you know, supporting me, um, you know, lifting me up, saying, you know, good job, great, dope fit, you know, good job on this. Um, Shout out to all of my subscribers. It's getting 10 minutes now, so let me stop. Um, thanks for watching. Please raise your like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, if you guys like my channel, please, please, please subscribe. We've reached 2,000 subs, guys. I think I'm at 2,145. And now we're approaching 10 minutes. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.